Quilt is a versioned data portal for AWS. With Quilt, cross-functional teams can share, understand, discover, model, and decide based on data at S3 scale. You're currently looking at open.quiltdata.com, where we have 24 different public S3 buckets with over 10 billion objects in them connected to Quilt. You'll see below here a grid of all the S3 buckets that are connected. You can also run Quilt on top of your private data. To learn more about that, visit quiltdata.com. Let's get into the five key use cases. All right, let's talk about sharing data. We're looking at a single S3 bucket here. And the first thing to notice is that Quilt can preview files of any type and any size. Here we are streaming images. Uh, you'll notice, for example, that we have markdown files. This bucket also contains Parquet files and Jupyter notebooks. And the key point here is that even if you have a really large file, let's take, for example, this VCF file. This is a file that's common in biotech. It's a gigabyte in size, it's zipped. Uh, you get, first of all, a really simple URL that you can share for that file. And you can also preview really large files on the web. So even though this is a gig zipped, I'm able to peek into it and see what the contents of that file are. A perhaps nicer example, if we look at, let's say, this Parquet file here, you'll see that we can look at the entire table structure and we can even browse the schema as well. And it doesn't matter how large these files are, we will render a bite-sized preview in the browser. Another thing that Quilt does to make it easy to share data is we have the concept of data packages. And a data package is simply a collection of related files and you can simply share this simple handle with people. And the neat thing, once you're using Quilt on top of your AWS account, inviting somebody is as simple as just adding their username and their email. There's no need to mess with IAM permissions. Quilt handles that transparently for you. Let's talk about how Quilt helps you to understand your data. So first we automatically generate summaries of your S3 buckets, and we'll show you how many objects are in the bucket. You can see this scales to fairly large buckets. This particular one has about 61 and a half terabytes of satellite images on it. And you're free to embed readmes. We'll look at visualizations in just a second. We'll also extract an image grid and various file previews so you can start to get a handle on what data is in the bucket. And if you enable CloudTrail, you'll also be able to see who's downloading which files by extension type. I talked earlier about visualization. Uh, here's a really clear look. We support about 20 to 25 different types of visualizations in Quilt, for instance, this chloropleth. And the cool thing here is that now, instead of people being airdropped into S3 buckets and not knowing, for instance, what the various files are, you can now integrate your documentation in the form of visualizations, Jupyter notebooks, and readme files so that anyone who finds themselves in this bucket or needs to work with the data or the data packages in this bucket will have immediate context for what the data is and some simple ways to start to understand the shape of that data so they can use it. And data are only useful if you can find them or discover them. And that's why in Quilt, every object in every S3 bucket that's connected to Quilt is automatically indexed in Elasticsearch. And you'll see in this bucket here, we have about one and a half million different notebooks that span about 600 gigabytes in size. And let's say I wanna know something about random forests. I can just type that search and I will then get relevant notebooks. And the cool thing about this is that now whenever you're looking for data inside of your company and you wanna know everything that the world knows about a subject or you wanna know everything that your company knows about a given subject, you can start with the Quilt search bar. Quilt supports experimental and collaborative modeling. As an example, let's imagine that I've just developed a notebook where I use the XGBoost algorithm and things are in a good state and I'd like to checkpoint that state so that my colleagues can discover and build on top of my work. Uh, the way we do that is pretty simple here. I'm just gonna create an empty Quilt package and then I'm going to use the set door call to capture everything in the current directory. That could be models, that could be training data, that could be notebooks and put those into the package. And these are all assets that tend to not work very well because they're large size on Git or GitHub. And I'm gonna create this package and then I'm gonna execute this push operation here. And you'll see that I specify as a registry any S3 bucket that I have write permissions to. And now when we head over to that S3 bucket, you'll see that we have a history of a package. We've just pushed a new revision. So actually if I refresh this, you'll see the latest revision. And every revision of a package is like a time capsule that lets you go into S3 and it lets you look at the state of your work 
That could be, again, models. It could be training data at any point in time. So this is the notebook exactly as I had it for this package revision here. And you'll also notice that I was able to upload or mark this directory with certain metadata. So I said this needs retraining with a specific container number, and that's significant because I can now go back to Quilt, search for that container number, and I will receive hits in the package that I just created. And the key point here is that you can annotate your training data and your models and your data package as a whole so that you can discover the provenance and lineage of the objects that are in those packages. As we wrap up, let's talk about Quilt as a source of data-driven decisions. The idea here is that once you make a decision, you can take all the inputs to that decision, you can roll them into a data package, and then you can lift that package, the notebook, all of its documentation, all the data, images, markdown, anything related to it, and send those to Quilt in the form of a data package. And now what you've done is you've created an auditable decision trail that anybody in the company can find and interact with. And we hope that that'll help you use Quilt to make informed decisions faster. To learn more, visit us on the web at quiltdata.com. Thank you.